Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to continue with the Flipper Zero all-in-one Swiss Army Knife multi-hacking tool with a particular focus on high-frequency RFID or what is also known as Near Field Communications or NFC. Not only is NFC used in access control systems, but also is common in commerce. And so with the Flipper Zero, you can actually scan contactless debit and or credit cards, capturing the card number. Uh, you can't get all the details, like the security code and the date. And this varies from one card to another. But the Flipper Zero does have these capabilities uh, for those card providers that haven't upgraded uh, to more secure uh, encryption for their contactless NFC smart chip enabled payment cards. What we're going to use for our demonstration here is a high frequency NFC card often used for access control that is physical access control and computer based access control to show you just how easy it is to read a card and then to replay the data that we've captured. So as previously demonstrated, uh, the Flipper Zero scans a card upon contact and then cross-references the data on the card with the Flipper Zero database stored on this device. Uh, here we've identified this high-frequency NFC RFID tag as a Mafair Classic. We have a UID number, which is the unique identifier for the card. And we have the keys found. Uh, depending on the card, the Flipper Zero doesn't always find all the keys stored on a card. Uh, however, this device is updated often. Uh, you, you can update your Flipper Zero with your smartphone by syncing your smartphone with the Flipper Zero via Bluetooth. So with this data that we've got from this NFC tag, we can either save that to this device, we can emulate, thus using the Flipper Zero as a tag itself. We can go to Info. Here we get the hexadecimal of the raw data. And then you'll notice there's an ACA and SAC number, that's the manufacturer and tag type. Uh, and this is also reflected in the ISO standard, which will tell you what type of tag this is. All right. I'm going to go back, back. All right. We can also detect card readers. So if you're performing reconnaissance on a target and you don't know what type of tags they use, you can use your Flipper Zero to determine the reader type, thus helping you perfect your attack vector. Uh, knowing the reader type, you'll be able to understand how to better compromise such access control systems uh, and what type of a RFID tag to use. What's also important here is that we have extra actions. Right? We can choose to read a specific card type, which takes us to a menu listing the different card types. That way, uh, your device doesn't have to guess what type of a card you're reading. We can go to Add Manually, and there's a catalog 
or database of NFC tag types or tag templates already stored on the device with UID numbers and other information. All right. And again, this device is updated often, so this changes uh, in terms of functionality and uh, the catalog of different tag types stored on this device uh, with which your Flipper Zero is compatible. You can also uh, read and write low-frequency RFID tags, and there are other features uh, such as infrared, which is good for a TV remotes, air conditioners, so forth, uh, and software-defined radio. If anyone's familiar with the HackRF or the HackRF and the Portapack, um, your Flipper Zero uh, isn't as versatile as a HackRF, uh, but does have that capability in terms of uh, recording or uh, RF signals and then replaying or relaying those signals um, to further compromise access control systems, for example. All right. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I will be putting together a series of videos uh, further exploring the different options and functionality capabilities of the Flipper Zero. Until next time.